Hey, this is Mr. Masonette, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to solve a word problem that involves the volume of a sphere as well as the volume of a cone. So the problem reads that a 5 inch deep ice cream cone has a radius of 1 inch. A spherical scoop of ice cream also has a radius equal to 1 inch. If the ice cream melts in the cone, will it overflow? Whenever a word problem such as this one is talking about holding something, we should know that they are referring to volume. So basically we have to figure out if this spherical scoop of ice cream were to melt, would it be able to fit inside the cone or would it overflow? So if the volume of the ice cream is larger than the cone, it should overflow. But if the volume of the ice cream is less than the cone, then it should fit within the confines of the cone. So to solve this problem, we have to know how to find the volume of a sphere as well as the volume of a cone. So the volume of a sphere is equal to 4 thirds times pi times radius to the third power. And the volume of a cone is equal to 1 third times pi times radius squared times the height of the cone. So when dealing with the volume of a sphere, you have to memorize this formula. And when dealing with the volume of a cone, you need to memorize this formula right here. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to solve in terms of pi. So I'm going to leave pi as a symbol. I'm not going to substitute 3.14 in for that. And the radius of the sphere is one inch. So we're just going to replace the r with a 1, and we have to cube it. All right, so now we go down here and we write 4 thirds times pi, and we have 1 cubed, and 1 times 1 times 1 is 1, which means I really don't have to write anything because anything times 1 is that thing. So 4 thirds pi times 1 would be 4 thirds pi. So this is actually the volume of the sphere in terms of pi. So that's how many cubic inches would be occupied inside this sphere. All right, let's take a look at the cone here. So the volume of the cone is equal to one third pi times radius. In this case, the radius is one. And we have to square that and then multiply by the height of the cone, which is five inches. So now what we're going to do is we are going to simplify this equation here. So we have one third times pi, and 1 squared is 1, of course, and 1 times 5 is 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply 5 times 1 third, and that's going to give us 5 thirds pi. And if you're not sure how I got 5 thirds, it's because if you took 1 third and multiplied it by 5, you'd have to turn 5 into a fraction, and 1 times 5 is 5, that's our numerator, and 3 times 1 is 3. All right, let's go ahead and compare the volume of the sphere versus the volume of the cone. Now, we can see that the volume of the cone is larger than the volume of the sphere, because the volume of the cone is 5 thirds pi cubic inches, and the volume of the sphere is 4 thirds pi cubic inches. So this is 1 third pi cubic inches larger than this, if you were to subtract. So the volume of the cone is greater than the volume of the sphere, which means the volume of the cone is sufficient to hold the volume of the melted ice cream. All right, I hope this video provided a good review on how to find the volume of a sphere as well as the volume of a cone. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can become informed as new videos become available.